Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be showing you my diffusing routine and showing you how I go from this complete wet dog look to this bomb curly big fro that I have. Um, with diffusing, I still get tons of definition with minimum frizz and I'm able to get my hair to be super huge. So if you want to see how I do that, then just go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> So I'm literally just going to hop right into the video, I'm not going to waste any time. So this is just me freshly out of the shower, I just applied all my hair products. If you guys want to see what I used in my hair, I do have a full routine on my channel of my curly hair routine, so I'll link that down in the description box below. Um, this is the blow dryer that I like to use, I'll have it down in the description box as well. It's a Revlon hair dryer that I just got from Target, it's nothing fancy, it was literally less than $20. And the settings that I use are low air blow and medium heat. And this is the diffuser that it came with. And I literally just always use the diffuser right when I first start blow drying my hair. I just put it onto the diffuser and I bring all my hair forward and um, I start the diffusing process. So as you can see, I have pretty much all of my hair all over my face. Um, this is because of the way that my hair is just shaped and the way that it's cut. I have a very um, big fro circle shape on my head. So I have um, on the very top, as you can see, uh, pretty much all the hair that's supposed to be in the back is brought to the front. And that's because those are all really like short hairs and those are my bangs. That's the very top of my hair and that's what's going to give me a lot of my volume. So I like to have it pulled forward because if I leave it in the back and I dry it um, not towards my face, I'm not going to be able to manipulate it and bring it back up to my head and my hair shape will just be all off and it won't look right like at all. So that's why I bring my hair forward and I like to dry it that way. As you guys can see, um, I keep shaking my blow dryer. Uh, this is a really important thing that I like to do and it's a tip that I'll share with you guys. So pretty much I shake my diffuser um, because it keeps my curls from getting overly clumped. I do not like really clumped curls and like really super defined curls just because my curls are naturally very very curly and they get very um, shrunken up and I pretty much have like dolly type curls like 3C like curls so me diffusing them doesn't do anything but just make them even more shrunken up and even more curly so me shaking them it keeps them from getting overly clumped and it adds like a little bit of uh looseness to them it doesn't keep them from getting so perfect As you can see here now I'm literally just shaking out my hair I would say that my hair here is maybe about like 80% dry and I'm just shaking it out and I'm actually taking a pick to my hair and kind of picking out the roots a little bit and trying to kind of fix my shape a little bit and get my hair to lay the way that I want it to now I don't do that like super extreme because the hair is still wet so I literally just am very careful with the hair and just pick out the root only and then as you can see, I'm also taking the diffuser off and I am stretching my hair out actually. I don't like for my hair to get like super shrunken up. I like to have like a little bit of length to it. So that's why I take the diffuser off of the blow dryer attachment and I'll just like blow dry it just a little bit to kind of get a little bit more frizz in there and a little bit of extra length. And then I'll put the diffuser back on and kind of like try to like redefine some of those parts so that it doesn't get too overly frizzy. So this is just my hair after it has been completely dried. It's 100% dry and I'm just taking the pick again and picking it out even more. Um, I love my hair pick. I don't know what I would do without my hair pick. It is my life. Um, and it just gives me so much volume and it is literally my best friend. I go nowhere without it. And it just adds all the finishing touches to my hair.
I then go ahead and just use this product by Diva Curl. It's called the Setup and Above, but I think that they actually have a new name for it. I will link it down in the description box, but it's basically just a sculpting pomade. And I take just the tiniest amount on my fingertips and just rub it throughout my hair on my roots and throughout the shaft of my hair. And this just gives me more length and it keeps my hair kind of in place all day. And that's literally it. I hope that you guys enjoyed my diffusing video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.